Right, hello everybody, Mark here. Today I'm going to be... Uh, I'm just looking out the window there. Um, I'm going to be doing a chicken stir-fry. It's going to involve some chicken, as uh, as you might see. What I'll do, I'll get the packet, I'll show you, it's a special seasoned chicken. Yeah, what it is, it's uh, sweet chili kebabs. There we go. It's, uh, let me see, sweet chili, tender chicken breast kebabs in a sweet and spicy chili marinade. So that's what I got. Normal price, four quid. I got it for £2.19. So uh, £1.80 off. And as you can see, what, what, what happened is, uh, that it's in two halves there, so uh, I've just busted out one half. It's uh, chicken bits on skewers. All right, so that's the, uh, the meat part. And what I'm going to put in there is some vegetables. Now I'm going to pan down because I've got several vegetables I'm going to put in here. The idea is, I'm just going to put a few, not many. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll, oh, right, that'll do. Okay, and then I'm going to boil up a few more. All right, a little bit of sweet corn. No, just a bit, just to give it some flavour. And <clears throat> some broccoli. Now, as you can see, there's, uh, uh, there you go. There's some big chunks in here, which I'm going to try and avoid. I want to get the the little pieces. There you go, the, the ones that don't involve too much cut it up. Okay, there are, uh, usually there's plenty of them, because when you're, when you go in and get the, the broccoli out, you you know pretty much always go for the big pieces. So all the little tiny bits go to the bottom. And uh, that, that's the ones that I need. Okay, they're a little bit awkward. There's another bit there. Okay, so drop them in. Okay, so I'm going to boil them away. Uh, now the idea is I'm going to boil them, put them to one side, then I'm going to fry the chicken, and then I'm going to add add some um, onion rings, uh, maybe a couple of chicken nuggets. Put them in there, and some potato, them paprika potato wedges that you you. Well, actually, I don't know if you've seen them already because when I filmed these. Uh, sometimes that they, they you know they go into a queue and then sometimes they're not shown in a, in the order that I film them. So anyway, I've got some paprika wedges. So I'm going to be cooking those, put them with the veg, put them with the chicken, all in the stir fry, along with this Uncle Ben's, which I don't know. How, well, I, I, I normally I write the price on here, but I can tell you that I don't buy these because of the price. Uh, I'll wait until they're they're a pound and then I pick up a few of them. So, um, so that's what I would have paid on, on this one pound. Okay. The vegetables are pretty much boiled, just another minute or so. And I've cut up all the chicken bits into, there you go, fix this viewfinder again. I've cut them into tiny pieces, so they'll, they'll cook quicker. And also, as you know, if you're a regular, I want the chicken bits to be small enough to just scoop up with a spoon along with everything else that's on the in the dish. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut these into tiny, tiny pieces. Right, and that is that. While I'm waiting for the, uh, the vegetables, it'll only be a minute away, I'm gonna put a few of these paprika wedges. I've only got a few left. Um, yeah, I'll take a couple of these out. Yeah, because I'm going to put some other nuggets and stuff in there. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that in it right. Okay, that's that. And then I'm going to add a few onion rings. Uh, I don't know, let's see, two, four, uh, call it five. Okay, five onion rings. And next, some breaded chicken nuggets from the co-op. You may recognise these. From because I did a I did a nugget challenge. If you type in Mark's Remarks Chicken Nugget Challenge, you'll see me eating a, a lot of these. 
I just I it, uh, I was saying it's like a uh, a long video. I just ate them with a lot of different sauces. You might be amazed at just how many I got through. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put four four chicken nuggets. Now. The wedges, the nuggets, and the onion rings are going to go in the air fryer. There we go. I'm just going to put those in at 180. 180 for about, put them in for about sort of 12 minutes, and then when, after that I'll give, them a, I'll give them a shake around and uh, see what needs to be done, see if they need any more time. Now, the wedges and the nuggets and the onion rings have just come out of the air fryer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop them up into small pieces and then I'm gonna put them back in the air fryer. They've only been in there about 10 minutes and it's not quite enough. Okay, so just to give it an extra, I mean, they're, gonna, they're not really gonna cook in, in the frying pan. They're sort of like gonna heat through as such and then infuse themselves with the uh, stir fry. Now, while I'm doing this, earlier on today, I posted a video entitled Pastrami and Pork, which was the, uh, anyway, is it Pastrami and Pork and Beans and Wedges and Chicken Nuggets Hot Pot. Now, I've had a few uh, messages come through on that, and uh, while I wasn't, um, I didn't think anybody would give it a, a name, but I've had, I've had a few people, well, I've had um, one person give it a name and another one with a suggestion. Let's see. Uh, what I'll do uh, in the in the in the usual in the corner there, I'll I'll add it uh, so you can click onto that if you want. But Dave Dump called it BMW because it has beans, meat, and wedges in there. So the BMW. So if you used to go into a cafe, ask for the BMW. If they did it, then uh, that'd be a good name for it. Actually, I think. Uh, and also um, in the last few minutes. Dan the Man. While, uh, well, I thought it was, you know, it was like uh, as best as I could make it on the day. He actually came up with a good idea of, um, his idea was to grate some cheddar cheese over it. You know, just, uh, just a, you know, I, I guess a, a, a sprinkle or whatever, you know, sprinkle some cheese. That would, that would be good. You know, I, I don't know what, they probably need a block. I don't think uh, that process cheese that I use is any good but yeah thank you Dan the man put grated cheese on that that actually would have worked if I'd have, uh, if I'd have had some cheese and also thank you to Dave Dump for the BMW name for that uh, for that particular dish like I say I'll put uh, if I forget to mention it later I'll put a, a thing in the corner so uh, you can have a ganders now right, I'm gonna put this back in the air fryer just for a few minutes give it some uh, in fact what I'll do while that's cooking away, I'll uh, I'll get the chicken on the go. I'll put the, get the chicken cooking. Okay, I'm just uh, gently frying the sweet and sour chicken. Now, uh, I mean, you could actually do this with regular chicken. Just put, if you wanted to season it, put some sweet and sour sauce on it. I just happened to buy them with the sauce on it. They're, they, it's because they were on discount, you know. But sweet and sour kebabs. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to be cooking that up and. Uh, when the wedges and that are done, I'll throw them in along with the sauce. Now, I've just drained off the fat into the container over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the vegetables in here. The, the chicken's been cooking, the chicken's been cooking for about 10 minutes. So it's all nice and done. Uh, I, I, I didn't want any, any rawness on the chicken before I put the vegetables in. Anyway, yeah. So hopefully now the the vegetables all in, uh, you know infused with the sweet and sour. There's a runner bean in there. I have to cut that in half. There it goes. Right. So I just get that a few minutes, and then I put the wedges and whatnot in. All right. There we go. The chicken nuggets, the wedges, and the chopped up onion rings. I'm going to put those in the frying pan. And just mix them around a little bit. There's no, there's no sauce in here yet. I'm gonna. I've got, got to put the sauce in there in the jar over there. 
there. In fact, uh, I've just turned it down from seven to from from eight to seven. I'm going to turn that down to six now. I don't know why I'm mixing this up. There's, there's no sauce in there to mix it up with. But this is going to be interesting, you know. It's sort of like um making it up as go along kind of uh, routine. Okay, now here we go with the uh, Uncle Ben sauce. Throw that in. Anyway, I'm going to pour that in and mix it up and come back in a sec. Alright, so now I'm just going to gently mix it around. And uh, just uh, basically heat, the, everything's cooked, just need to heat the sauce through. Alright, so I'm going to gently do that on six, On it's on heat number six out of twelve. Alright, so then, yeah, just uh, as you can see, just turn it over. Get everything covered with the sauce and just let it bubble away for a... A while. I was thinking. I was thinking about putting one of these, uh, putting a pilaf rice in there. But to be honest, it's looking pretty. Uh, it's looking pretty solid at the minute. Pretty, uh, pretty chunky dinner. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. That that'll be plenty, I think. Okay. So I'm just going to heat it through and then plate it up in a few moments. Now it's been heating through for a while. And that is the finished result. That looks looks pretty good. You can see the sweet corn, the peas, the uh, peppers, there, yeah, all kinds of stuff. All right. All right. I'm going to be putting into my uh, my pasta bowl because I know that the small cereal bowl isn't going to be big enough for this. There we go. And here we go with the taste test. There we go, and that's, I'll tell you, this is, looks really good. If I hadn't have had, I, before this, I had uh, I had a few cheese and coleslaw sandwiches while I was sort of like getting the strength up to actually get up and cook this. All right, and if I hadn't have eaten that, I would have actually uh, put that packet of rice in here. That would have been, that would have been good. Yeah, actually, that, that was a big, um, tastes like a big piece of onion, that did. Didn't taste like onion rings. But, uh, yeah, it got lots of, I can see lots of pieces of wedges. Hmm. The wedges have a slight chewiness to them. That's a chicken nugget. Quite nice, very soft. Everything seems to go soft when it's been boiling down like that and uh, mixed in with the sauce. Mm. This is good. I mean, if you if you did put rice in this, like it would be that the rice would be the perfect topping for this. Well, not topping, you know, you mix it in. But like I say, because I had those sandwiches, I just couldn't manage a, a packet of rice as well. But ordinarily, the rice will go in with this. There you go. That is what you can do. I was uh, 13 and a half minutes, I'm going to make this quick. But all you need, if you if you have some chicken, all you need is a pack of chicken, the rest of it, uh, yeah, and, and the stir fry, you can get those for like a pound if you're, normally, uh, I get I get the Uncle Ben's, but it's on special, but you can get shop brands, uh, stir fry, you know, in the area of a pound, that kind of thing. And the rest of it is just scraps. If you've, if you've got packets of stuff in the freezer, all you need is uh, a handful of wedges, not very many, just a few, if you haven't got those, some chips. Uh, I used onion rings. You know, use like four or five of those. If you don't have that, you can use um, uh, hash browns. You, you know, it, it's all about uh, what was your one? Chicken nuggets. Yeah, chicken nuggets. You can, you know, you know, just put fish fingers in if you wanted. You know. If you've got packets in your freezer with six things in it, six chips in there, throw that in. You've got four onion rings, just throw that in. It's a big lucky dip, and it's a way to empty out your freezer, and you make a right good dinner. All right, well, that's, um, hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm going to put, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to put the uh, the link to that video. So thank you to Dave Dump and Dan the Man for their contribution um, in the comments, and I'll put that video, what they were, that they were referring to up here. Thank you very much for watching.